Tim Rates here with Wagon Rights Dog Training. Today I want to talk about how to properly fit a prong collar. So there's a lot of myths about this particular tool and one thing that I want to clear up right away is the fact that these are not pointy. So Herm Springer makes prong collars where the ends are blunt on this so you're not going to be poking into the dog's neck when you use a tool like this. The other interesting thing about it is because the way that it's designed provides even pressure all across the dog's neck. So when you think of it, opposed to like a flat buckle collar, which would work very similar to something like this, if this is the dog's neck here, all the pressure is going to go on the front of the dog's neck. That is what causes damage to tracheas and everything, not a properly used prong collar. So let's go ahead and fit this on Reyna here. Reyna is about a five month old Presa Canario puppy. And I kind of gauged the size a little bit already to see how this may potentially fit on her. So one thing with fitting a prong collar is you want to be really aware of the rings that you're using and the location of the rings. So the prong collar comes with two rings on it. One is known as the D ring. If you want to get a close up of that, you can see that it's actually shaped like a D. This is the one we connect the leash to. The other one is called the O-ring. As you can see, that is shaped like an O. We do not connect the leash to the O-ring. So let's start by connecting our leash to the D-ring. Now, most of the time, we walk dogs on the left. That being said, with a dog on our left, we want the D-ring to the dog's right. So that this way, we get to the left side of crawling Raina here. And to open up our prong collar, this collar we never slide over a dog's head. We always want to go around. Buckle your collar. When you're fitting a prong collar, you always want it high and snug right below the dog's ears. So this on Raina here, she's got a lot of loose puppy skin, but this is just about a perfect fit for working with a prong collar. This version of the prong collar I have here is really nice for people that don't have a lot of finger dexterity. You know, so if you're working with children or some women, even some men are not good at doing uh, opening a prong collar. So this one buckles here just like a seatbelt. But I want to show you how you would work a traditional prong collar as well. And what you want to do here is you want to pinch these bottom parts together. It's like this and put a little pressure downwards on your top link and it's going to pop right out. And that's taking it off, fitting it, you're going to pinch together and slide through the corresponding slots right there. So let's stand up here with Raina. You can see how this works. Come here, sweetie. Raina, come on. This is her first time ever wearing one of these. Let me coax her. Come on. You see how the pressure release would work here. This being your first time. Good girl, good girl. So here's an upward shot of what this looks like and exactly how you want it off to the side. If you're working a dog on your left, you want the connection over here. So you can find me at WaggingRightsDogTraining.com and my YouTube channel is Wagging Rights Dog Training, no spaces. Also Wagging Rights Dog Training on Facebook. Thank you for watching.